Ever wondered how to potty train your new dog in three easy steps? These steps should not be a closely guarded secret reserved for professional dog trainers. Stick around, and we will reveal those secrets. Welcome to the professional world of canine potty training, where consistency is king. The first step in this journey revolves around a consistent feeding and watering schedule. Why you ask? Well dogs, much like us humans, need a bathroom break shortly after a meal, usually within 10 to 20 minutes. This not only establishes your baseline for the remaining potty breaks throughout the day, but it also helps you predict and manage your dog's bathroom habits better. Remember, puppies should eat three meals daily until they are four months old, and some small breeds require four meals daily. And a pro tip for peaceful nights, serve the last meal in water three hours before bedtime so their bodies can process everything before that last potty break at bedtime. Remember, the success of your housebreaking journey depends on a consistent feeding and watering schedule. Now, let's delve into the significance of frequent potty breaks for your dog. Puppies, especially those under 16 weeks, need to be taken out to their designated potty place every 30 minutes to an hour. This frequency may seem a bit overwhelming but remember young puppies have small bladders and little control over them. As they grow older this frequency can be gradually extended to everyone to 2 hours. Adult dogs, particularly those of larger breeds, can comfortably hold their bladders for 2-4 to four hours. However, it's crucial to fine-tune this schedule based on your dog's individual needs. Once you've figured out the frequency of your dog's potty needs, here's a handy tip. Set an alarm on your phone. This will help ensure that you don't forget those all-important breaks. Now let's talk about how to train your dog to do their business on demand. It's simple. Lead your dog to their potty spot and say, go potty. Allow them to sniff around while you stand still, avoiding any distractions. If they begin to go, repeat the command, go potty. Once they're done, affirm their good behavior with a yes, and reward them with a treat. This training process not only helps your dog understand where to go, but also helps them associate the act of going potty with positive reinforcement. Remember, patience and consistency are key in this process. Setting an alarm for your dog's potty breaks can help you get on track with their needs. The key here is patience and consistency. Lastly, we will discuss the role of confinement in your dog's potty training journey. Confinement is a crucial element of housebreaking your canine companion. Now, what do we mean by confinement? It's not as harsh as it sounds. It simply means that until your dog is completely housebroken, he or she shouldn't be allowed to wander freely around the house. Confinement can take many forms. Your dog can be confined to a containment pen, a crate, or even a pet safe room. You can use a baby gate or a playpen to create a safe and secure space for your dog. Remember the confinement zone should only be used when you are unable to completely supervise your dog. Your dog should remain in this containment zone unless you are actively interacting with them, and during these interactions, keep your dog leashed to control their movement. This approach will help prevent accidents and reinforce the idea that certain areas are designated for potty. Now what happens when you need to leave your house for a few hours? Well your pup will still need a place to relieve themselves, that's where a secondary potty spot comes in. Consider adding a potty box to their pen or confined space. It's a good idea to practice this with your dog before the day comes when you have to leave them for an extended period. Remember the goal here isn't to punish or restrict your dog, but to provide structure and instill good habits. The idea is to create a routine your dog can easily follow, reducing confusion and accidents. The duration of potty training can vary. It depends on factors like consistency, breed, age, and whether there are prior habits that need correction. Some breeds might pick up potty training in a few weeks, while others might take a few months. And sometimes, there might be a relapse, and you'll need to restart the routine. Remember, every dog can learn with patience, consistency, and love, so stay patient and don't give up. The reward of having a housebroken dog is worth it. And that's how you can potty train your new dog in three easy steps. To recap, stick to a consistent feeding and watering schedule, ensure frequent potty breaks, and confine your pup when necessary. If you want to delve deeper into these steps, there's a link in the description to a full-length article. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more useful guides like this. Stay patient and remember, your housebroken dog is absolutely worth it.